Okay, so this is the filtration experiment. So first we're gonna make the solution. Uh, it's pretty simple. So you just grab a 250 ml beaker and then you're gonna add 100 ml of the 1% starch solution to the 100 ml line. Um, and then you're gonna add five grams of copper sulfate and then five grams of uh, activated charcoal. Uh, and then you just mix it really well. I've, I have already used half of it, so that's why there's only about 50 mils in the beaker. Okay? So this is what it looks like. Remind your students to stir it really well before they add the solution to the funnel because the starch tends to uh, precipitate to the bottom of the solution. Okay, when everything is ready, uh, you're gonna grab a piece of filter paper and then fold it twice. And then open it like a cone, okay? And then we're gonna put the filter paper uh, on the funnel. So it might not stay very well. So you can ask the students to wear gloves um, I probably should wear gloves, but nothing is really toxic, so I'm not wearing gloves. And then you can uh, hold the filter paper a little bit, and then you're gonna add the solution. And please tell the students to pour very carefully because you don't want any overflow. If there's overflow, uh, then it's likely that some of the solution is not filtered or the uh, filter paper might collapse. Okay? So just add the solution to just the top of the filter paper. Okay. So I'm a little bit short, you can add a little bit more. And then you will see the filtrate coming out of the bottom of the funnel. So once the you see a continuous flow, then you can have the students record the uh, number of drops for 10 seconds, or you can extend a little bit longer, 15 seconds or 20 seconds. So as you can imagine that the uh, filtrate rate will be higher when you have more solution, more fluid in the funnel. So you're gonna record when the funnel is full, and then you're gonna record again when the solution, uh, when you have about half the amount of the, the, the fluid in the funnel. So uh, you can see the dripping has slowed down a little bit because there's not much fluid in the funnel. So as the pressure goes down, then the filtration rate is gonna go down as well. All right, so to save time,